Uh, this is Killer Kelly Hip Hop, Gitter, uh, Shot by the Kid. Uh, we got a special guest in the house tonight. We got so, Space on a motherfucking beat, man. I'm Space on the beat, Sacramento Zone. Uh, trying to make a name for myself. Out uh, here just doing what I can. But uh, on the real, uh, as far as music goes, I've been making music for about uh, five years now. Um, started with FL Studio. I didn't really branch too much off of it. Uh, you had just asked uh, what programs I like to use, and typically it's just FL Studio, but I'll fuck with Reason. Reason's got some sounds I ain't ever heard before, so I like Some crazy experiment. sounds, by the way, yeah. Experiment with some new stuff, because it's gonna make a different product, and if it's gonna have a different ear, somebody else is gonna hear it, and they might like that, versus I already, I already have the supporter on this end, but they just like something different. But now okay. I'm expanding to you know, a different crowd with a different sound. So that's Definitely. why I like using uh, different DAWs, but typically FL Studio is the one I like to use. Um, for people that's getting into the game right now, um, especially like me, I got into the game like five months ago. Didn't know my fucking left ear from my right ear. Uh, explain what a DAW is. Um, I believe it's a digital... Audio workshop. Yes, yes. So yes. a digital audio workshop is something that is something you can use on a computer. Uh, obviously digital is the main word in that, but so anything that has a, a Reason, Pro Tools, all those are digital uh, audio workshops that you can use to uh, make your music record with uh, versus what we used to have in PCs you know, your drum machine, mm -hmm. and they used to make full beats with just those right on their lap. Like that, that was their computer. Okay. But now, you know, we got the upgraded systems, and we can all do it on our computers, yeah. almost with a snap of a finger, really. A lot of people don't know, like, um, what are some of the, the essentials you need that just off the, off the rip? Like, people be thinking they need to get a $10,000 MPC, uh, this and that and what do you really need if, if you really have a passion uh to work on music being a producer because a lot of people think a producer and a person who mix and master is the same thing could you tell them a little bit of the difference of sure. being a producer so a producer is someone that will make music or maybe even beyond that they'll they'll be part of the song they'll okay. actually be in there and in the studio or maybe they chop the beat up afterwards a producer is someone that follows through the whole way you want a beat maker you buy the beat from them and okay. that's all you that's all you get and then you have the engineer whose job is really to come through and clean up the whole song mixing mastering for the vocals i'm okay with that i'm not the greatest yet but you know you learn every day with some new stuff but it's basically engineering and, and producing is two different fields you know, okay. you, you got engineers that'll make $100 an hour just to make a song, and then you get a producer that makes a beat that's worth $200. Then on the flip side, you'll have someone that's not as good, that's willing to take less money. But in reality, you're doing two different things. Vocals is a whole other ballgame versus beats. You're talking about a different language, really, like Latin and English, you know? Okay. It's damn near like you really have to go to school for engineering. Like, if you don't... Unless you just have an ear for well, it. Well, if you got an ear for it, and, and you think that, and you think that, uh, and everybody else is in rocking with it, and you're just you're gonna keep getting better, yeah, for sure. But I personally think you should go to school for it, even if it's night school, just you know, a couple semesters or something, just to get a couple of little credibility behind it. Something okay. because you're always gonna learn something from either school or in another studio from somebody else, you know. But I'd rather just. I don't know. Me personally, I'll, if I can't get it on YouTube and find the information I need, I, I'd be willing to spend the money and go to school for it. Like, um, I just want to follow up with the, the explanation for it. Like me, um, it, it was crazy because I always been in the, like, the music lane, just never knew how to get into it. And it's like once you're in it, like you're in it, like you, you meet all these wonderful people and, and like I met you like from the mud, like we're nowhere where we want to be, but we're right. still making a... a a big bang on the city tell these people like how dedicated you have to be if you really want to do this like if you want to play with it tell them this is what's going to happen when you play with it and this is going to, what's going to happen when you're all in about it so and, and when i first started making beats uh five years ago i didn't really know where i was supposed to go with it i didn't really know what kind of lane i really wanted for this i didn't even know what my sound was going to be uh, so I, I took the first three years of me producing, really trying to develop that sound, trying to develop who I was as a producer. Um, and as time progressed, I changed my style a little bit, or I would stick to certain type of beats. 
for a while because I know it'll sell. You know, like sometimes I'll make a trap beat, but I'll, I'll sit on it for six months because I don't have the artist for that yet. But um, uh, I'm trying to answer your question to the best of my ability. Um, That's good. We can chop a slice however we need to. Okay, for sure. Um, can you can you ask me the question again? How am I uh, so so what's the difference between like uh, uh, a person who want to get into it? That's gonna go all into okay, it okay. instead of going left like I'm gonna do it when I can and. So you're talking what? about full time versus half time. Yes. Okay. So someone is full time. You either either have the means for it or you just have the passion for it. But if you don't have either of those, you you are doing it half time. And to me, you know, because if you're not putting your full effort into something already, then you're not gonna even get what you want out of it. Like my beats, I'm not gonna half ass it and then put it out and then someone's gonna think, oh yeah, this is a banger. They're going to be like, mm, it's okay, you know? Definitely. Um, I did want to say something. Uh, this is my first time doing a commentary 